Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add effects onto your audio or music, and in this tutorial we're going to create a cool underwater sound effect. So before we begin this tutorial, I just want to say if you guys are not following me on social media like Instagram, all the links are going to be in the description, go check it out, I'd love to connect with you guys more on there. So I have this clip of some underwater action here where the camera is sometimes above water and underwater and a lot of times when you add background music onto things, it's a cool effect to have the music also kind of sound like it's underwater when the camera goes underwater. So when we're highlighted on our audio clip, if we head over to the effects tab on the right hand side, you might be used to always adding video effects here. But a cool thing is there's also a ton of audio effects that you can have. So like denoising and functional things like that. But there's also cool creative options like distortions or phasers and reverbs. And an interesting one to get an underwater sound effect is the low pass filter. This basically means that it filters out all the highs and only the lower or deeper sounds of the music will show through, which is kind of what being underwater is like. So I'll click and drag this onto the audio clip and you'll hear that it'll automatically become a little bit more lo-fi, low pass. However, there's a few adjustments that we can make. So if you look in the effects control panel, you should see the low pass effect there and we have the option to either bypass it or adjust the cutoff. So the cutoff is at what hertz frequency do you want it to cut off any other audio? So the lower you go, the more damp the sound is going to sound. Eventually, if you take it all the way down, then you probably won't hear anything. So right around 2 to 500, I'll use 300 here, will give us a nice underwater sound. However, we don't want it to be on the entire clip. Like when he's above water, we want it to sound normal. And then right as the camera would have gone underwater here, we want to turn on the effect. So one thing we can do is add keyframes on the bypass. So I can click here to toggle animation, click that stopwatch, it'll add a keyframe and make sure it's bypassed on this keyframe. And then right when it goes underwater, we'll turn off the bypass. If you actually right click on the clip and go to show clip keyframes, you can show the clip keyframes for any effect that you have on there and any keyframe. So if I visually show it to you here for the bypass, you can see the bypass is on at this point, which means that the low pass effect is not activated. And then as soon as that line hits, the bypass effect is turned off, which means that the cutoff is activated and you get that lower pitch sound. So the low pass is great for easy underwater sound effect, but also keep in mind that there's a ton of other adjustments that have a lot more customization to them. For example, we have the parametric equalizer, which you could click and drag on and this one you can actually click edit for a custom setup and here you can it's kind of like a curves tool i can turn the lows up and turn the highs down and kind of create my own custom sound and there's also a ton of built-in presets for whatever you're doing so that's a quick little peek into adding audio effects and how to create an underwater sound effect for example if you enjoyed this video then definitely leave a like on it and make sure you subscribe to the channel here on youtube so you don't miss any future creative videos from me you guys can follow me on social media at justin odisho on instagram facebook twitter all that if you want to reach out to me show me an example of something ask a question and once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time